Buenos dias, golfers. It's Mike Deutsch here with another review. We're going to be talking about golf eats. That's that's a cut. Since you can easily take upwards of five hours to play a round of golf, intermittent snacking is just as important as swinging the club. If you're in a caloric crunch, rolled oats or dried superfood smorgasbord formed into a handy rectangle will do the trick, but your taste buds don't get exactly ecstatic over such functional food. While you can eat a full meal at the turn if you so choose, sometimes you need go-to grub to give you an energy boost when you need it. This is from an Austin, Texas based jerkery. I think that's the correct word, right? Jerkery? Probably. That means they're a purveyor of beef jerky. And this is gourmet stuff. I mean, there's nothing weird in this. It's just organic lamb, organic currants, sea salt, um, some spices, some sesame seeds, dehydrated, spe dehydrated spearmint leaves, and dehydrated lemon peel. This is what it looks like, guys. This is your lamb in a little rectangle. Not exactly what I expected. It's not tough at all. It tastes like lamb, like lamb that you can keep in your pantry, but lamb nonetheless. More lamb than jerky. It tastes more like lamb. 10 grams of protein, gluten-free, so pretty much anybody can eat this. It's lamb. It's gonna give you a meat boost. If you're a carnivore, you need this on the golf course to get that the meatiness. Supposedly helps your drive. Okay. I've taste tested this. We're gonna try the bison. It's a different animal, maybe it has a different taste. Let's give it a try. Oh, bison. Mmm, smells good. The bison smells good. It seems like it's bigger form factor, so is that. Give it a try. This is, this is good. This is good, I like the cranberries. You can taste the cranberries. There's obviously some bacon in here too. And bison, it's bacon, bison, and cranberries. It's a good combo. You wrap bacon on anything, it's gonna taste good, but this is really good jerky. This is more like a traditional jerky flavor that you're used to if you like jerky. These are Wonder Made Marshmallows. I'm gonna be trying them out. They're made with Maker's Mark Bourbon Whiskey. Bourbon. There you go. Form factor is a little bit tricky, but it's, once you get a hang of it, I mean, you got you got some stuff here. Let's uh, take a gander. You can open it with a golf glove pretty easily. It's always good. Let's do the sniff test. It smells good. It smells like whiskey, actually. That's a, you get a strong, uh, just as if I have a glass, you know, a highball. Uh, it's really good, actually. There. Hmm. This is like alcohol. I haven't had alcohol yet. Full disclaimer, but this tastes like like bourbon. If, if you like Maker's Mark, you're gonna like these marshmallows. I'm not getting a buzz from them or anything, so I wouldn't worry about alcohol. It probably gets killed off in the confectionery process. These are good. Now, I'll be honest with you, I can't eat normally a bag of marshmallows straight. Taste doesn't agree with me. These are pretty simple though. I think maybe it's the, the whiskey. I like the form factor. I like that they're cubes instead of the you know the goopy um, marshmallows that come in a bag that you make s'mores out of. Although these would make some dynamite s'mores, let me tell you. Okay, the Maker's Mark uh, flavor tasted fantastic. Let's try out the Guinness. Interesting. Interesting. I prefer the, the bourbon, but I like bourbon better than Guinness. If you're a Guinness guy, though, you will like these marshmallows better. It may be just my beer preference. I like the pretzels. That's a nice touch, though. It makes it like a beer snack. You got the pretzels going, gives it more texture. I like these. I like the Maker's Mark, the bourbon version, better of the Wonder Made marshmallows, but these are, these are good. If Guinness is your thing, you'll like them. Okay, we're talking about Rhythm Superfoods kale chips. They're in mango habanero flavor. Uh, let's give them a try. There's a lot of chip alternatives. Some of them taste good. Take a look at the mango habanero kale chips up close. This is legitimate kale. This isn't like a chip that's formed little, you know, kale dots or little, little kind of like ketchup chips or like 
This is real legitimate kale. This is, it's not little pigments of kale. This is the real deal. Kale, it's kind of been hydrogenated, let's say. Uh-oh, the habanero just hit me. Mango evens it out a little bit. It's interesting, guys. I mean, this is legitimate kale, so you're getting your kale goodies from eating this, and it's easier to eat than just plain old kale. Gluten-free, vitamin A, vitamin C. You're getting your kale in an interesting form factor. Let's uh, your props of Rhythm Superfood. Annie Chun seaweed food snacks. I'm looking here at some Annie Chun seafood snacks. This is actually one of my go-tos pretty much on a daily basis. I like seaweed snacks. It's addictive once you start using them. It's habit-forming food. It's basically a chip alternative yeah, made out of seaweed. It's roasted, salt on it, good stuff. Better for you than potato chips, too. Yeah. Mm. 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 I really like these things. Yeah, this is brown sugar flavor. So you got the sugar with the uh, salt. Seaweed's fantastic. I really like any Chun sea seaweed snacks. This is just an infomercial now. This is this is for real. This is me and my Annie Chun together. Thanks for watching, guys. I got to work off those calories by doing some bouldering. See you guys next time. at Cafe Strudel, it's a busy lunch rush. We're here on the 19th hole. We're uh, enjoying some Maker's Mark to go with our bourbon marshmallows, also made with Maker's Mark. And we just like to thank everybody for uh, watching. This is our 10th episode and we're gonna have many more. To many more. Seaweed!